Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be learning about the Rotate Faces command. I'm creating a solid and a hole. Cylinder tool. Solid subtract. Subtract from, right click. Solid to subtract and right click. Here is our hole. Now let's activate the Rotate Faces command from the Extrude Faces flyout. Select the face to rotate. Right click and enter to finish the selection. Now we specify the axis of rotation. Let's select two points, this point, and snap to this point. Now the angle of rotation, 45 degrees, enter to accept, and here is our rotation. Let's undo. Activate the command again. Select the same face, right click and enter. For the axis of rotation, I'll use the same points, but this time I'm going to select them in the opposite order. This point first, and this point second. That's my axis. Angle of rotation, let's say 45 degrees, and press Enter. And as you see, the face rotated in the opposite direction. Let's activate the command again. Select this face, the inside of the hole, right click and Enter. And for the axis, I'll snap to two quadrants of the hole. And let's rotate. Now let's place a line on the top face. First point and second point. Right click and enter to close the tool. Let's activate the rotate faces command again. I'll select this face, right click and enter. Now for the axis, let's right click and select axis by object. We'll select our new line and let's make the rotating angle 10 degrees. Press enter. Let's activate the tool again. Select the same face, right click and let's use the X axis. Next, we specify the origin of rotation. I'll snap to this endpoint. Rotation angle, 15 degrees. Enter to accept. And here is our rotation. Escape to close the tool. This concludes our tutorial about the Rotate Faces command.